Hi, Kai Life Yogis. Welcome to your yoga practice. Welcome to your yoga mat. My name is Jenny, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. Today's practice is a super calming, gentle yoga practice to help ease you off to dreamland. We are doing yoga for sleep. It's going to be a really quick practice, and we're not holding poses for too long. It's pretty restorative just so that we can find our breath, so that we can kind of transition from day energy into a really sleepy energy and set us up for our best night. It was just a full moon, and I was experiencing a tough time getting to sleep, even a tough time staying asleep. There's definitely some yoga that can help you with that. And if you are not yet done with your stuff that you have to do before bed, press pause on this video, get all of that done first. I actually put a link below that has some ideas about ways to kind of set yourself up for sleep, a sleep ritual. Things to do like make your to-do list, maybe set up the scent in your room, maybe a little cleansing of your space just so that you're not distracted. Things are dark, things are quiet, and you can get your best night's rest. So get all that taken care of first. Get ready, get in your pajamas, and then I'll meet you on your mat. I'm going to tell you this before our yoga practice so that you can hopefully just fall right asleep after you're done, but there is a logo in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Please click on that. Please click subscribe. We so appreciate any likes to our videos and any subscribes as we're trying to build our content. Any shares are amazing, so thank you so, so much for your support and your love. I really appreciate it. There's also some links below if you'd like to play some really soothing, calming music during this practice tonight, or if you'd like to sign up for our email newsletter, which is a love letter to your inbox every single week. Tonight, grab one pillow, your softest, comfiest pillow, maybe spray it with some lavender essential oil, get it all set for your practice tonight, and I will meet you laying down on your spine. Okay, Kai Life Yogis, we're going to lay down, roll down on your spine one vertebra at a time. Have your pillow close at hand. We're first going to be moving into a supported bridge pose using our pillow. So grab your pillow and place it underneath your sacrum, underneath your hips, and get comfy on it. Pillow has a lot of give to it, most of them do at least, so you're not going to feel the same elevation that you would using a yoga block. It's supposed to be really gentle and soothing. Allow your heels to come in towards your hips, maybe stop at that pillow's edge. And if it feels better on your spine, your lower back, you can definitely place the soles of your feet at the outside of your mat and allow your knees to drift in towards one another. Whatever feels more calming, more restorative to you tonight. Allow your palms to flip up to the sky with your arms outstretched. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you to find a little lift of your heart. And close your eyes. Start with a really large inhale. Feel your heart lift up to the sky. Sigh it out. Allow your first pose here to be really transitional. We've just finished up all of our tasks of the day, but things still might be on your mind. So allow it to start getting quiet. Trust in the fact that you have thought about the things that you need to do tomorrow, maybe even jotted down the things that you need to do tomorrow for your to-do list and that they're there for you, they'll be there for you tomorrow. For now, you can just let them go. And as you begin to let your thoughts settle down, begin to let, let your thoughts drift towards sensation in your body particularly notice around your hips. Notice that heavy sensation as they sit into your pillow, that really grounding sensation. Start to become aware of your belly rising and falling with your breath. Let your face muscles relax. Feel your heart rate slowing down with your long inhales. 
and long exhales. Take about 10 more really lengthy inhales and size out. Know that if you're in bed and you start to get to that really tired point, you know you're super close to falling asleep, you can take the pillow out from underneath you and just drift off into dreamland. Once you feel really grounded, once you feel like your thoughts have quieted down, your focus is on your breath, your focus is on sensation, start to wiggle through your hands just a little bit, maybe through your toes. And as you're ready, press into the soles of your feet just to gently lift your hips up off of your pillow. Take your pillow out from underneath you. Draw your knees together, roll over towards fetal position on your favorite side, and then press back up, press into your palms. We're moving into a child's pose next, and this will be a supported child's pose using our pillow. So extra nice if you've sprayed it with some lavender or your favorite sleepy essential oil, because it'll smell really good as you're using this as your prop tonight. Lay it down onto your yoga mat or onto your bed if you're practicing this in your bed tonight um, so that it's facing long ways away from you. And to move into child's pose, begin to draw your knees out wide. Reach your hips back towards your heels and slowly start to lower your way down onto your pillow. You might find that you need to adjust it closer in towards your body. Once you find your pillow, you can certainly lay your head down into the pillow if that feels okay. If that doesn't feel great for your breathing, you can instead send your gaze to one side. I'll give you a halfway mark so that you can switch your gaze. Wrap your arms underneath your pillow. Let your head rest down. Let your entire body, your belly, be supported so that your, can, your hips can ease back towards your heels. After that movement, begin to settle into your breath again, those long inhales and long exhales. Notice if there's any place that you're holding yourself up. Maybe you're pressing into your palms or your forearms. Maybe you're lifting your head up off your pillow. Maybe your chest doesn't feel supported or your belly. If you need, you can definitely adjust your pillow so that you can fully place your head, your chest, your belly, your body weight down into your prop and allow your hips to melt completely. We're about halfway through. If you'd like, you can switch out your gaze if you've taken it to one side. 
Go ahead and switch it to the other side just to even things out for yourself. Readjust as you need to. Now that you've been here, maybe you can widen your knees out a bit or switch in through the positioning with your arms. Allow yourself to settle right back in to those lengthy inhales and exhales. If you find your thoughts coming back towards your to-do list, back towards something that occurred during the day, or something that you're kind of predicting for tomorrow, let it right away come back towards your breath and back towards sensation, that melting down, that supported and grounding feeling. Just a few more breaths here. All right, yogis, we're going to press into our hands. We're kind of moving up towards the tabletop just to move right back in towards where we were. We're coming into a half frog pose. So for half frog, you'll leave your pillow exactly where it is. This is a supported half frog pose. You'll outstretch your right leg back behind you. Left leg comes up so that your knee is in line with your hip. Mine is a little bit high, so I'll send it back down. Instead of drawing your foot in towards your hip, draw your foot right out so it's in a straight line away from your hip as well. For less sensation through your neck, you'll take a gaze towards the same side as the leg that's up. If you'd like more sensation, more twisting, slight twist through your spine, and definitely a stretch through your neck. You can gaze in the other direction. Just notice how it feels in your body and what feels best. And allow your right heel to relax out away from your left foot. Here, start to trace sensation from your toes all the way up through your head eventually over the course of your next few breaths. And pause in any places where you feel tension, send your breath there. Pause in any places where you feel like you're lifting or holding your body weight. With your next few exhales, allow yourself to relax down. Last few breaths. When you're ready for change, we'll switch sides. Press up into your palms, stretch your left leg back towards your right, and switch your legs out. So this time, right knee comes up so that it's stretched out away from your hip in that straight line with your thigh. Right toes reach directly down from your right knee, and switch your gaze out in the other direction. Once you place your head down on your pillow, again, allow for that trace from your toes, eventually all the way up through the top of your head, getting quieter, getting more supported, melting down with each exhale.
And we're about halfway through. Last few breaths. All right, yogis, if I lose you here and you're comfy, you're practicing this in your bed, you're ready to hit pause for the night, I'm not going to hold it against you. You can definitely stay exactly where you are and hopefully you're set up for a great night's worth of sleep. Otherwise, if you'd still like to come into some grounding with your breath, with your body, let the day go a bit more, we're going to roll back onto our back again. We're moving into a supported fish pose. So lay the pillow long again. You'll end up laying on it along your spine and place your hips right at the end of your pillow. Stretch your legs out and roll down one vertebra at a time. Adjust however you need to. And once you get down onto your back and you finally let all of your weight melt into your yoga mat or into your mattress, take a huge inhale, feel your heart lift high. Sigh out your exhale again. Last few breaths here. Again, knowing if I lose you in this position, all good, drift right off to sleep. If and when you're ready to unwind, press into your palms, press into your elbows, draw yourself straight up from any time you come into supported fish so you're not rolling off of your prop in either direction. We're going to lay right back down onto our mat. Keep your pillow at hand. We'll end up using it for our last couple of poses. We're going to move into a really easy supine twist. So draw your heels in towards your hips and start to roll over towards your left hip. So right knee is crossing up over your left. Place your left thigh down on the ground if you can see it here. So knees are stacked on top of one another. It might feel really great to place that pillow in between your thighs and let your right shoulder melt right back down into your mattress, into your mat. Just a really, really gentle twist for your spine. Take a few breaths here. Last few breaths. Mm -hmm. 
to unwind from this side. Pick up your top leg if you have the pillow in between your legs. Scooch it out. Draw yourself back onto your spine. You can always take a little side to side, lower back rock, just to even things out. And as you're ready, we'll flip onto the other side. So scoot your hips over. For me, my right thigh is coming down. Left thigh is crossing on top. I'm definitely going to put my pillow right in between my thighs again. And as you're ready, melt your left shoulder back down onto your mattress, onto your mat. Go right back towards where you left off. Take your inhale, feel your heart lift. Side out, melt down. Last few breaths. When you feel evened out, when you feel ready to unwind, lift your top leg up, grab your pillow, and place it above your head, especially if you're laying down in bed. Draw your spine flat against your mattress or your mat again. Knees back in towards your chest. Definitely take that side-to-side -side rock, even things out. You could absolutely fall asleep from here. Sometimes it's still really nice to end your practice with a final shavasana and with that space where you're completely present, where you're even practicing in gratitude for the time that you just gave yourself. So if you'd like to take shavasana, squeeze your knees in towards your chest, wrap your arms around your shins, forehead towards your knees, huge inhale, huge hug. Then open mouth, exhale into final shavasana, take up space. Notice the sensation right away, how melted down your body feels, how much calmer you feel, hopefully, than when you began your practice this evening. And again, find that tracing sensation of tiredness this time, of calmness. Start at your toes. Work your way up through the arches of your feet, through your calves. Let your knees relax. Disengage your quads. Spend some time around your belly again, noticing your breath, and the rising motion of your inhales. falling motion of your exhales. Trace that same motion up in through your chest. Note how supported you are in through your back, in through your shoulder blades. Let your arms, your fingers relax. Work your way up towards your head. Begin to focus solely on your breath. That space between your inhales and your exhales. can absolutely stay here in your final shavasana when you're ready for sleep. If you're in bed already, lift your head up onto your mattress, turn over, and fall right asleep. If you need to move up towards your bed, then roll over towards a fetal position when you're ready for movement. 
press into your hands. Yogis, it has been my pleasure tonight to practice with you. I definitely hope that this gentle yoga practice brought some calmness to your body, some calmness to your mind, and that you have a beautiful night of sleep ahead of you from the light in me to the light in you. Namaste.